Okay, now. Okay, this is the preview for the week of February 20th to February 24th. After we had a very busy week, next week will be a bit uh, calmer. That leaves more room for politics to have an impact. On Monday, um, there's nothing uh, much on the agenda, so maybe we'll have some weekend news having the impact. On Tuesday, the RBA meeting minutes will um, provide us some insight about the recent decision in Australia. That didn't rock the boat too much, but maybe the minutes will reveal a bit more. Flash PMIs from the Eurozone for February will be on uh, Tuesday morning. Mark Carney will appear once again in public, this time talking about uh, the um, about well the inflation report. He has recently made quite a few public appearances, so it might not have such a big impact, but you never know with the pound, which is very, very volatile. And for those trading the Kiwi, we have the bi-weekly milk auction, milk prices, dairy prices have been on the rise lately. Wednesday is a busy day with the German IFO business climate, which fell last time and disappointed um, after the weaker than expected German GDP. Perhaps it'll fall a bit more. In the UK, GDP has been very resilient, 0.6 quarter over quarter, according to the first release. will probably be confirmed. Well, again, uh, uh, we'll hear Brexit, what Brexit kind of headlines. Well, inventory is like almost every Wednesday. And the big event is the Fed meeting minutes. Um, once again, three weeks after the Fed decision, in theory it's a bit stale, but it's important to remember that the data is uh, redacted, is edited until the very last moment. They know that uh, this document is not only what happened in the, the previous meeting, but also what it means for markets. So this could certainly have an impact uh, next week. Um, Thursday we have relatively empty day. Usually Thursday is one of the busiest days of the week. Uh, we have only the capital expenditure from Australia. It's a quarterly report and the RBA looks very closely at it. So those for those trading the Australian dollar, maybe this will be what moves us the Aussie out of range. And on Friday, we do have quite a few figures, not quite Friday like this one. So we have the German and Spanish CPI reports for the month of, um, of February. So these are flash reports. Let's see if inflation continues pushing higher and uh, also inflation in Canada. And last but not least, US new home sales. There's a good correlation between sales of new homes and the economy at large. Okay, so relatively quiet week in terms of, um, in comparison to this week, in comparison to the uh, next one, but there's always politics to move markets. Okay. Any questions? Welcome to a market to end all markets. Welcome to FX Pro. 